What's up design family and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you back on the channel. On today's episode, we'll be looking at simple ways to target specific demographics or groups of customers for your fashion brand. In fashion, chances are you're targeting a very specific subset of customers when it comes to a generational group. Yes, in theory, it's good to try to capture as many people as possible. However, in order to maintain a consistent brand image and identity, it's important to know who your target customer is. And with different generations out there, how do we cater our messaging and how do we target specific people to match the brand identity that we're going for? We'll be looking at four key generational groups, starting off with the baby boomers, then we'll be looking at Gen X, and then Gen Y, otherwise known as Millennials, and finally Gen Z. These are the four key generational groups that consist of the entire market that is available to any given brand at any given time. So with so much difference between these different generational groups, how do we make sure that we're reaching them at the right places with the right messaging? This video is going to go into a little bit of detail, splitting up the different ways that we can approach each generational group so you can make sure that your messaging is targeted and you're finding the right customers for your brand. Hey guys, and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around, you're in for a good one. We've already mentioned the four key generational groups that we'll be looking at. We'll start off with the baby boomer generation. This is the generation born between 1946 and 1964. Despite their reliance on the good old days, these groups are generally well connected digitally. So as an online brand, you have quite the opportunity to reach out to this subset of customers. One of the biggest ways that they're going to interact with online media is through desktop computers. Whilst Gen Y and Gen Z may be a lot more inclined to access online media through their phones, baby boomers are a lot more inclined to do so via desktop computers. So make sure that your online experiences are catered towards these types of platforms. If you're going to optimize for mobile, make sure to also optimize for desktop if this is your primary concern in terms of who you're targeting. You'll also want to look at traditional media. It can be very easy to overlook traditional media like newspapers, magazines, billboards, because we have access to such formidable online platforms like Facebook ads, Google ads, so on and so forth. When it comes to baby boomers, they are still inclined to they're still inclined to consume their media in a more traditional format. So don't overlook these options. At the same time, Facebook. If you're going digital, consider Facebook. Yes, there is a ton of different social media platforms out there like Instagram, Snapchat, there used to be Vine, and now TikTok. However, when it comes to baby boomers, they're more inclined to be on Facebook. Just think about your older aunts and uncles and maybe your grandparents. Chances are they have a Facebook and they use these platforms in ways that you wouldn't even imagine. So these platforms are practically a kind of a congregational point for these older generations. And if you want to digitally market, highly recommend that you look at Facebook. Also, if you're going to add videos to your media, consider videos that are a little bit more slow in pace and are pushing information. So think about something that is a lot more informative rather than blaring, high intensity, loud music, so on and so forth. Cater your media to the specific type of person that you want to consume it. And lastly, look at discounts or cash coupons. This is a generation that we're taught to value every cent and at the same time they come from a post-war background. So they have these values that are ingrained in them that aren't going away anytime soon. So do consider building loyalty by offering some sort of reward system and some sort of cashback system as this will definitely push your sales and ultimately open you up to this demographic. The second demographic group that we'll be looking at is Gen X. This is a generation of consumers that were born between 1965 and 1980. This is an often overlooked 
generation because it's not so commonly referenced in pop culture. However, they do constitute around 25% of the population. So it's not a generation to overlook. At the same time, do bear in mind that this was one of the first generations to be widely integrated into digital culture. Most of this generation is extremely technically savvy and at the same time, they all have access to laptops, smartphones, mobile phones, so they're quite connected. Maybe not as much as the generations after them, but they are able to access and consume digital media. When it comes to targeting these groups or this group of people, you want to bear in mind that they do a lot of research in terms of what they're looking to purchase. So they'll do a lot of offline research before they commit to a specific purchase. So they definitely value the quality and the value that's being provided to them. When it comes to where to find them or how to target this group, number one is you'll definitely want to look at email. Traditional email marketing is definitely not lost on this generational group and making sure to keep your emails interesting and entertaining and to provide value as opposed to always selling can be a key way to capture the attention, to capture sales from this group of people. At the same time, look at digital videos. This was the first generation to grow up with the widespread VHS, DVD, music videos, high intensity movies. So they're quite in tune with digital media that is extremely fast paced. So make sure to use digital videos to your advantage and to capture some of that nostalgia when it comes to how to reach out to them. At the same time, look at emphasizing your selling points. We already referenced that these customers do a lot of research offline before they commit to specific purchase. So emphasize your USPs or your unique selling points, whether it's your luxury, it's your exclusivity, it's the technical features of your product, it's the value proposition. Make sure that you consistently talk about these points and that you make them clear. Gen X is willing to spend the money if the product is worth it. And last but not least, loyalty programs. Gen X has a huge interest in loyalty and these kinds of programs. So when it comes to your program, make sure it's easy to use, it's clear, and it's consistent. You want to keep Gen X coming back to you and build up that loyalty over time. They are an extremely loyal group whose attention can't be swayed from one brand to another quite easily. So if you manage to capture their sales, chances are you'll retain a loyal customer if your product is consistently on point and you're rewarding them for that loyalty. Generational group number three to consider is one of the most well-known groups and one that constitutes most of the purchasing that happens online at this given moment. And that's the millennial generation or known as Gen Y. This is the group that is born between 1981 and 1995. And as we know, this is a group that is extremely plugged in and globally connected. Studies have shown that this group checks their phone an average of 150 times a day. So they're constantly being pulled in different directions, but the positive here is that we know where to find them. So make sure that you have a consistent brand identity that can attract the attention of this customer group and at the same time build the loyalty. Their motto is, if I like it, I'm going to buy it. So if they like your product, chances are they'll purchase it. One, uh, some of the many ways to attract or to engage this customer group is basically through social media for your mobile devices. So we've already discussed when it comes to the baby boomer generation. Yes, they do use social media, but they're a lot more inclined to access it via desktop. When it comes to millennials, we're looking at our mobile phones extremely frequently during the day, and that's where we're going to be consuming the content. So make sure to update your platforms frequently. If you're not consistently being present, you're going to become irrelevant. With so much grabbing our attention on a day-to-day -day basis, being consistent in your messaging and always showing up is one way to stay in your customers or your potential customers' minds. Also look at appealing visuals. Yes, this is a generation that's easily distracted and you need to make sure to keep your messages short, interesting, and to the point. That's why millennials definitely prefer things like infographics over straight up text. If you're going to be providing informational information, look at providing infographics. Next, you'll wanna look at reviews from other users or otherwise known as social proof generation or are the millennial generation value what others have to say and if they're looking at purchasing a product they want to make sure that their peers have had positive experiences with this product one way that i see a lot of brands 
using this search to their advantage on their website is by providing a review section straight on the product page where people can instantly see what others have had to say about the product and they feel a lot more comfortable knowing that others have had positive experiences. So make sure to provide the social proof necessary, whether it's through user generated content, whether it's someone who's purchased a hoodie from you, taken a picture, snap it, post that to your Instagram and show others that your customers are having a great experience with your brand. Look at sponsoring influencers. We've already discussed that half of millennials are extremely influenced by what their peers have to say. When it comes to influencers, these are just their peers, but at a wider scale and with more approach and with more distribution for content. So make sure to target the right influencers and make sure that you have a influencer that matches your brand image and your identity and someone that can be a spokesperson for your brand. It's not just about targeting the numbers. At the end of the day, if you're building longevity for your brand, you wanna make sure that the people representing it match the values that you're looking for. Also, look at replying to their comments. Millennial generation want to be heard and they want the recognition to know that their comments are being taken seriously. So whether they're negative or positive, make sure that you're consistently responding to your potential customers or your customers' feedback and that you're addressing any concerns that they have. Make sure because at the end of the day, silence is not your friend when it comes to communicating the value of your brand. You want to be present and you want to show that your, your customers or your potential customers that you're willing to address any issues that pop up. Lastly, we have Gen Z or the Centennial Generation. This is the group of people born between 1996 and the present day. Do bear in mind that this group of customers is always evolving and there's much that we still don't know about their habits. However, just like the generation that preceded them, they're extremely plugged in. Their online identity and how they portrayed online is extremely vital to this generation. And just like the generation before them, they have a very, very short attention span, even shorter than the millennial generation. Studies have shown that they have approximately eight seconds on average for their attention before they move on to the next thing. So this has a lot of influence in terms of the digital media and the way that you get them to consume the content that you want them to consume. Some of the ways to approach this generation is number one, by real people over celebrities. This generation seen a lot of BS when it comes to marketing and making sure to provide authentic messaging experiences and people that they can relate to as opposed to just influencer XYZ or celebrity is one way to earn their trust and their loyalty. You wanna make sure that these influencers or these people that you're using have an authentic approach to the way that they deliver their content and deliver in a way that is less, let's just say, done up and pampered than the generations before them. Things as simple as vlogs and on-the-go live unboxings are a great way to show the authenticity of a reaction and to get Gen Z on your side. At the same time, we've also mentioned the real-time and the live new stream way of delivering content. This is a generation that is very used to things like Twitch and having that one-to-one -one or that real-time relationship with the content that they're experiencing is a great way to get their attention. With so many pre-recorded videos out there, that is just simply not as interesting of a proposition to certain Gen Zers as the other generations. Making a live interaction is a way for them to get close to the content and to bring that authenticity. So do consider live ways of interacting with them, whether it's through Instagram stories, Instagram live, Twitch, or just simple ways of webinars. This is one great way to actually integrate with this generation. Also look at creating direct and simple ads. These ads need to be extremely short and to the point, even shorter than with millennials, and just get your message across. Pretty much, you may only have eight seconds to get your points delivered. Last but not least is to have a short delivery time. This is a generation that's used to everything at their fingertips almost immediately. With the advent of things like Amazon Prime, with next day delivery, same day delivery, two hour delivery, Gen Z has come to expect delivery at an extremely fast pace. So make sure that you're able to cater to that need. Now that we've looked at the four key generational groups that you're typically going to target, you probably have a better idea of how to approach your generational groups. It's important to know who you want to target, 
And as I've mentioned, yes, it can be quite alluring of a concept to try to target everyone. But the lack of focus in your brand positioning is not something that you want and it's not something that's going to push you towards having an exclusivity and having a clear and consistent brand identity. Know who you're targeting and target them appropriately. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a comment below and let us know what other types of fashion business type videos you want to see next. We always enjoy putting out this content for you and we always enjoy hearing back in terms of what content you want to see. So thank you so much for tuning into Fit Design TV. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. We put out great content on a week to week basis. And until next time, stay awesome guys.